the transaction. He slipped out of his clothes, dropped his money on the table. She motioned he should join her on the bed. He stood alone, exposed, his ugliness revealed. No, he said, would you come here instead? And he could see her smile was real as the rain, as lithe she crossed the cool motel floor. He opened up his arms and folded her inside while cold November's neon winds did lash that frail door. He felt the bathing warmth of her skin upon his skin, the softness of her breast upon his chest. And then, like one who loved him, she buried her small face between his neck and shoulder and left it there to rest. The first anointing tears on the sweetness of her hair fell slowly as she called him by his name. Then enkindled by her warmth, he wept as a small child, and as she held him tightly, she began to do the same. And in that blushing moment, the second hand stood still in innocence where angels fear to tread. And after she departed into the cruel night, he found his money laying on the still-made motel bed. For all day long transactions, for powder, skin, and cash, indict the city hidden from the light. But in a cheap motel, where ugliness found beauty, love was traded freely for love that stone-cold night.